in the Murmansk region of Russia, near the village of Safonovo 1, an L-2 attack aircraft from the 46th Assault Aviation Regiment of the Northern Fleet Air Force was raised from the bottom of Krivoy Lake. The plane was discovered in December 2011 in the middle of a lake at a depth of 20 meters. The search and recovery of the attack aircraft were carried out by the joint effort of the crew commander relatives and the Icarus search group. In 1943, due to the damage received in an air battle, the IL-2 made an emergency landing on the frozen Krivoy Lake in three kilometers away from its airfield. Commander Junior Lieutenant Valentin Skopintsev and Red Navy air gunner Vladimir Gumionli got out of the plane. After a while, the ice broke, and the attack aircraft went underwater. On the 25th of November 1943, 16 L-2 attack aircraft, together with PE-2 bombers from other air formations, accompanied by fighters, made two combat missions. In the first one, due to bad weather conditions, instead of attacking the Habakten and Luostory airfields, the attack aircraft had to strike a backup target. One crew was lost. Habakton was attacked by a group of P-2 bombers only. After the weather cleared, 16 Nile 2 attack aircraft set off again to attack Luostory. The attack aircraft were met with fierce anti-aircraft fire. At least 25 German BF-109 took off towards Soviet fighters. As it's indicated in the combat report, at least 10 aircraft were destroyed as a result of a bomb attack on the ground, 6 anti-aircraft points were suppressed, 26 seats of fire were caused. Additionally, during the air battle, 13 Messerschmitt Bf-109 were shot down. On the Soviet side, 11 fighters were lost. It had been the third combat mission of Skopintsev and the second one for Gumionny. But despite the little experience, the pilot added two destroyed aircraft on the ground and one suppressed anti-aircraft point, and the gunner had a BF-109 shot down in air combat. Vladimir Gumionny was wounded during the raid. Airplane had almost reached the Vyinga-2 airfield when the damage engine stalled. The commander made an emergency landing on the lake ice, literally three kilometers from the airfield. Skopintsev got out of the cockpit and pulled out the wounded comrade. The fragile November ice couldn't hold the plane for a long time and broke under its weight. The raised aircraft was restored to flight condition.